how can we valorize organic waste? The EU wants to make the transition from a linear to a circular economy in the framework of the flagship initiative, A Resource Efficient Europe. One of the key elements in a circular economy is to use waste as a resource. A lot of organic waste streams are produced by households in industry and agriculture. Examples include waste paper, the organic fraction of municipal solid waste and manure. Currently, these organic waste streams are usually landfilled, composted, incinerated or even digested to produce biogas. A more promising valorization strategy is to maximize outputs and recover maximum value from organic waste streams in the so-called biorefinery concept. In a first step of this cascade approach, high-value chemicals such as health-promoting carotenoids, phytosterols or polyphenols can be isolated as such. In a second step, the organics, sugars, proteins, lipids, in the waste stream can be chemically or biologically converted into valuable chemicals and materials. Finally, bioenergy can be produced from the residues of the previous steps. Let's now focus on biological conversion as a core technology in such a biorefinery. In this process, microorganisms carry out reactions to convert organic materials into a chemically modified form. If organic waste streams contain only one type of organic compound, such as simple sugar molecules, the right microorganisms can directly convert these simple sugars into biofuels, such as ethanol. In most cases, however, the waste streams contain a mixture of complex organic compounds, such as complex sugars, proteins, lipids, and so on. Then they first need to be pre-treated to enable the bioconversion step. One of the examples demonstrated by Vito researchers in the Renew project targets waste paper valorization. From every 1,000 tons of cardboard or paper, 900 tons of simple sugars can potentially be obtained through proper pretreatment. These can be converted with microorganisms into 160 tons of butanol and 110 tons of other solvents or chemicals. If we assume a truck consumes 20 liters of butanol per 100 kilometers, it can drive 800,000 kilometers, or 20 trucks could drive around the globe. In addition, the Vito researchers aim for the highest yield obtained by using minimum energy, materials and resources. This can be achieved through process intensification, one of the major research areas of Vito's biotechnology team. Tensifying the process and minimizing materials and energy consumption not only reduces costs, but also increases its sustainability.